what is going on everybody welcome back to yet another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you the easiest and quickest way to set up your active trader as well as showing you how to trade the options inside of active trader but real quick if you guys do find value in this video make sure to smash that like button as well as clicking that subscribe and that bell icon it would mean the absolute world to me but without further ado let's hop into the video and then real quick in case you guys did not know i do have a 450 page book on amazon titled the new age of technical analysis and in this book i go over my entire day Day training and swing training strategy how to find bounces rejects like today i told everybody to watch amd for a reject and that was the exact high of the day so i go over how to find those all the indicators i use specific day trading and swing training setups i like to look for and so much more so make sure you guys check out the book the new age of technical analysis on amazon book number two is coming very soon the link will be down in the description all righty so let's set up this active trader if you guys did not see the live trading on the small trading account is going to be starting on monday so let's go ahead and set up the active trader that i'm going to be using so on thinkorswim you want to make sure that you're on this chart tab right here and what we want to do is we want to click on flexible grid now when you click on flexible grid by default it is going to look like this so let me show you how to set up the charts as well as active trader for options trading the way that i like to set up my active traders i like to have two charts a small chart down here and then my active trader up here so we are going to delete this top one right here that way it brings these two up and then what we're going to do is we're going to add one below this now from here you want to come up to where it says show grid actions and then uncheck customize grid now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the three different charts we want to sync all of these we're going to make them red after they're all red we then want to set up our indicators for me personally when i am trading I like to use VWAP, the 8 EMA, and the TTM squeeze. Now that the indicators are on the chart, what we're going to do is right click, go down to studies, and we are going to use save drawing set. And we're just going to name this DT for day trading. Now over here, all we have to do, right click, studies, load study set, DT. Same thing over here, go down to studies, load study set, DT. Now in day trading, I like to make this one my five minute time frame. I like to make this one my 15 minute time frame. And then this one down here, I either use a one minute or a two minute. So for this video, we are going to make it a one minute time frame. When I'm day trading, I'm watching the five and 15 minute for setups and then sniping entries on the one minute time frame. And then after that, all I do is put the level two right below the one minute time frame. So from here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna shrink this a little bit right up here. And then what we are going to do is we are going to make this its own color. I'm gonna use purple. Now from here, we wanna go up to where it says symbol actions go to gadget and we want to click on active trader now when choosing your options on thinkorswim for your active trader you want to click this down arrow right here head on over to options we can type in anything let's just type in spy and we can see all the options pop up right here so for the time being we are just going to select the 436 call now by default on thinkorswim it sets up a chart right here and it only puts buy market and the sell market now for the volume it's personal preference if you want to have it on for your option chart if you want to take it off go to options and then show volume uncheck that right there and then we can just go ahead and delete this right here i personally like to use the chart of the options that way i can see if spy were to come down and test the ema right here make it support at 1005 if we look at the options we can see that at 1005 the low of that candle on these options was 0.79. So if we were to enter at the end of this candle right here, we probably would have gotten filled around 0 0.89, 0 0.9. We then know our invalidation point is below 0 0.79. And as you see, those contracts move to a high of 1.45. That's why I like to use the chart. You don't have to, but personally, I do. Now, as far as setting up your active trader, what you want to do is head on over here to where it says configure buttons. And this screen is going to pop up right here. What we want to do is we want to drag buy the ask over and put it above buy market. Now, also, we want to find sell the bid and we want to put that above sell market. For me personally, I don't use reverse and I don't use flatten. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. And then from there, we want to drag the auto send on or off up below sell market. And then we also want to drag the quantity buttons up and put that above auto send on off. And then from there, we can click OK. Now, as you can see from here, this is where it chooses the amount of options that we can buy with that button. 
So all we have to do, if we want to buy 10 options, boom, click 10. If we want to buy 30, boom, click 30. Now, if you don't like the buttons being in those increments that were just shown, all you have to do is come up here to where it says setup, click on that, click application settings, head on over to where it says order defaults, go to options, and then choose your default quantity right here. For now, we're just going to click one and click apply. Now, as you can see, it goes one, three, five, 10, 20. It's personal preference if you want to use this or not. All you have to do is actually type in how much you want to buy. So if you want 50, boom, type in 50. But if you'd like it to be a little quicker, you can use these buttons right here. Now, at the same time, we do want to make sure that the auto send is on. That way, when you click these buttons right here, the order automatically goes through. So that is personally how I set up my charts for day trading and how to use active trader most of the time i personally just buy the market it's a lot easier especially if you're trading spy where the spreads are very very tight now if you're going to be trading something like moderna where the spreads are probably pretty wide let's take a look at the 120s yeah you can see that the bid is at 0.78 and the ask is at 0.87 if the spread is like that you don't want to buy the market and typically you don't necessarily want to buy the ask either but if you are trading something like SPY, Apple, AMD, etc., where the spreads are tight, typically I'm just going to buy the market. That way I'm guaranteed to get into that trade. So for me personally, I buy market and sell the bid. If I can't get out of my position, then I'm going to sell the market. I get a question all the time. What is the difference between buying the ask, buying the market? When you're buying the ask, the contracts are currently trading at 0.95. If I were to click this button right here, I am telling my broker to only buy the contract at 0.95. If the contract went up to 0 0.97, 0 0.98, and never came down to 0.95, my order would not be filled. You are only telling your broker, buy it if it is at 0.95. Not a penny lower, not a penny higher. Now, buying the market is saying to your broker, get me in this trade right now. I don't care what the price is, the next available price get me in. Sometimes there can be slippage. Maybe you pay a few dollars higher, but typically with SPY, that does not happen because the spreads are very, very tight. Same thing at selling the bid. If you were to sell the bid right now at 0.92, you are telling your broker to only sell this contract at 0.92. Not a dollar higher, not a dollar lower, only at 0.92. If you're selling the market, you are telling your broker to get you out of that trade as soon as possible at the best available price. So I did just want to clear that up real quick because I do get asked that quite often. But yeah, this is the easiest way to set up your active trader, the easiest way to use it, buy the market, buy the ask. When you want to get out of your position, sell the bid, sell the market. You can set up your buttons right here as I already showed you guys. Again, make sure that auto send is on. And then if you want, you can use the chart to see how the options are trading. But that is going to wrap up this video on how to set up Active Trader on Thinkorswim and the quickest way to buy and sell options. As always, if you guys did find value in this video, make sure to smash that like button as well as clicking that subscribe and that bell icon. It would mean the absolute world to me. As always, everybody have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video.